it's actually raining here. Oh, really dreary, rainy day. So, these are the ones that we have left to sell. There's uh, nine of them, I think. Well, everybody knows that I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So I'll say I get rid of three or four tomorrow. But these guys did really well. They're all looking. Checking out the rainy weather too. dreary day. Day 14. Hey, Charlie. Say hi to the camera, Charlie. Charlie is camera shy. She does not like to have her picture taken or anything else. Hi, oh, Charlie. Let me see if I can get in here a little bit. Well, we have the... Hey, Goldie. This is Goldie. Hi, right, Goldie. Goldie's one of the Americanas. Oh, and that's Nugget. Nugget's my favorite. Nuggy and Golda are my favorites. And they know it. Oh, Goldie. See if I can get in here. See if I can get in here and get underneath here and take some videos of the ones hiding underneath there. Oh, and Goldie is sitting on my phone. Are you comfortable, Goldie? <laughs> what are you doing, Goldie girl? Sombra? I swear. Well, Goldie's just being nosy. <laughs> really, Goldie? <laughs> She's trying to hop up on my phone. Nugget. Nuggy. Well, there's one of the little ones. Look how tiny that one is compared to the other ones. You haven't named the one that looks like Nugget Jr. I've just been calling it Nugget Jr. It's eating with the big boys. And then the white one that's over there in the corner, that's Marilyn. That's Ricky named that one Marilyn. But they're so tiny compared to the other ones. Looks like everybody's going to come out and eat. They're mixing pretty well together. I need to pick between these two gray ones. The two little gray ones. That's Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Marilyn's one of the Cochins, obviously. And then the two gray ones are the Cochins. And then the bigger ones are all the Americanas. And there's the Duckies. I think that's Howard. Sylvia's usually hiding. Howard likes to sit in the gravel box and drink. 
the chick grit chick grit which is grit specifically for these guys as age groups life. Uh, the rent-a-coop little brooder is working really well. I'll have to leave. I'll put up the other link for the rent-a-coop brooder. Seems to be doing pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty warm underneath there. And, and then when they get too warm, they come out and get some food and then they get cold again. They go back in there. Pretty simple. Hmm. They're so funny. Goldie just wants to really sit on top of this. I would like not eat my camera, Goldie. That would be great. Come here, Goldie. Goldie girl. She's such a brat, aren't she? Goldie likes to cuddle with me. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Every time, every single time that I'm in here doing anything with the chickens, I'm washing my hands, chickens and the ducks. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Huh, Goldie? Goldie knows. Well, wash your hands, huh, Goldie? Oh, Nugget. <laughs> Nugget's trying to jump up on the camera now. Nuggy. Nuggy. Yeah. Oh. They're so funny. He wants to jump up on here so bad. A nugget. They're so silly. The eggs seem like they're doing okay. Um, day 14, so I will. I'm not. Let's see. My backyard chicken eggs came on the 10th, and today is the 19th. So that's these ones with the twos on them. So I could probably, maybe tomorrow, we will do a candling of those ones. I'm really trying not to open this thing too, too much. So, and maybe it's just best if we leave them alone and see what happens. But I really, really don't want eggs to explode everywhere. Those ones should be good for a little while, but... These number twos, they're getting close to us needing to find out if there's life in them or not because I, like I just said, I don't want rotten eggs like exploding in the incubator. That would be awful. So day 14 is going well. Um, showed some video of the little ones earlier today and um, my son works for me at the motel that I manage and he decided that he wanted to work tonight and I got all ready to go. and. He stole my hours from me, which is fine because it's really good for teenagers to have work ethic. So I always really encourage that and I get, I get paid no matter if I'm there or not, which is the perk about running a business. But I dropped him off and one of our regulars left me. She's a school teacher, so she works like kind of for an outreach program. She's been staying with us for a few, like some years now. And um, she, we don't see her all summer because that's, I mean, if you're a teacher, you usually get summers off. But she left a cute little, I'll see you next 
winter gift for me. She's such a sweetheart. It's this little, <clears throat> it's loose leaf tea. And then you can see the inside of that, but you put the tea in the inside and pour the water over it. And then you have some hot tea. And the glass is probably really hot, but it's a super cute idea. And then my son lettered today which is really really cool so day 14 is going well not just with the chickens but also just in life how exciting um, he's gonna be a senior next year he's a junior so this is really cool and hopefully he'll be lettering in varsity football next year so excited about that so I'm gonna go water some plants and take care of some other things really quick and We'll see what the end of the day, where we're at. I also got this in the mail today. Saved you guys the pain, trying to watch me open it. Um, this is all the rage for all the new chicken people. I guess black soldier fly larvae. It, uh, because it has more calcium and more nutrients and everything than the red than the other mealworms that people give to their chickens. So I decided to get on the bandwagon. Hashtag Grub Terra. Sponsored. You know, if any of you guys want to sponsor me, I'm definitely down. But definitely not sponsored. So honest reviews. We'll see if my chickens like it. I'm sure they will. They'll eat everything. But I probably have to wait. I think you're supposed to wait just a little while before you start feeding them stuff like this when they're babies. I think it was like three to four weeks. I'm not sure. Not a professional. Just learning this as I go. So, you know, I might need to get a second opinion when it comes to watching anything that I post, but it's just kind of fun to watch somebody learn new things. So, Grub Terra. And I just went to their website. I think it was like grubterra.com. Oh, it's right here on the bag. Huh? It wasn't very expensive either. So if you guys want to try something like that for your chickens. It's okay. Monster Monstera. And my beautiful burgundy ficus. Day 14 is also going to be a downstairs plant watering day. So I can water all these the cast iron plant is just got repotted it's doing really well prince of orange fire flash mandarin that's one of my favorites croton bromeliad monster spider plant bird of paradise some other ones I sell a lot of these at my plant shop. Hashtag herb, herbs and plants. I guess I get to sponsor myself for that one. Let me give myself a little pat on the back. The uh, Party Time Anthurium. Yes, it really is hot pink. Local honey. Always try to get the local honey.
I'm going to add a little bit of this <clears throat> local honey. Um, <clears throat> Eden's like, what, maybe 45 minutes, I think, from where I live. Say that it's the best for allergies and a lot of other things, some local honey. So it's actually, I thought it'd be really hot, but the glass outside is not very hot. So it says iced tea on the package, but I decided to try to warm it up and the Keurig. It's actually got a really nice light peachy taste. And definitely taste it and tastes very much like a little peach cobbler. I'm guessing you could just stick this out and put some water in it and turn it over and stick it out in the sun and You'll probably have a cute little sun tea container, single serving of one, but it's a very, a very cute idea. What a great gift. <clears throat> I purchased this local honey at a store called Oboes. It's our, it's a little locally owned and operated gas station that's in Sublette County. And um, I wish I knew where I could plug where to get this cute little tea maker glass container and the little teas it was gifted i told you guys by <clears throat> one of the people that stays at the motel that i manage quite a bit the school teacher um very cute gift they stink really bad but your chickens will love them hashtag grub tara I decided that I was curious and I wanted to open it. I wanted to see what they look like. They're really light. Kind of feels funky to grab some larva in your hand. This is our order from Misfits Market. Again, not sponsored. This is box one. We got two boxes this week. And when you live in the middle of nowhere, it's really hard to find really good fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's what these guys are for. So that's the first box. Here's the other box. I just uh, started doing this. You wanted to see, especially for when our chicks get a little bit older, then we'll all have some good fruits and vegetables. Should have opened this off camera. This is how it comes though. It's got some, I love this. Packaging made from recycled water bottles. It's awesome. And it's got the house for that in the sink. <coughs> and this is box number two. I love these carrots, these rainbow carrots, and they were so cheap, and they were like a dollar ninety-eight or like two dollars for them. Love rainbow carrots. Let's see what this is. It's a little tomato. <laughs> All organic. Ooh, look at this. 
Chicks would love those. Brussels sprouts, squash, cucumbers, regular carrots, oranges, mm, some oranges, onion, three pounds of yellow potatoes. I think those were like two or three dollars too. Everything was pretty inexpensive, like mostly under in between two and three bucks. Maybe four dollars for the bigger items, but yeah, not bad. Not a bad haul. Misfits Market, sponsor me. <laughs> okay, so this is a hundred dollars worth of fruits and vegetables from Misfits Market. That's what it's look. It's looking like. Oh, yeah. sorry about the TV in the background, but. Not bad. Not a bad haul. I mean, we get this, if we bought this where we were living, this would probably be like around $200 worth of organic. All organic veggies. And it all looks really good. Americans need to get over the, your fruits and vegetables don't need to be perfect and they're still good. We don't need to dye our food. The oranges don't have to be perfect to taste good. Well, I think that the chicks like the Misfits Market. They're gonna have a salad tonight for a little snack and we're gonna have a salad for dinner. if you could to throw some grass in there so um, I don't have very much grass yet so this will do and it'll keep them busy it keeps them entertained definitely entertaining for the whole house day 14 yeah two weeks I believe it's been two weeks already Well, I hope you guys have a good day, and again, hit that like button, subscribe if you really want to, um, shoot me some comments, I always like seeing them, I know I have one of my good friends, Melissa, thanks for always commenting on my videos and supporting me, and I know a couple of people are sharing them, so that's always nice, but I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day, and I hope that you keep watching, and we'll see where this goes, thanks, bye.